Hi, hello guys, it's more easy graphics. Today I'll be teaching us how to design a birthday poster. I have here saved 30,000 by 30,000 pixel for my design then. Uh, 30,000 by 30,000, I have my resolution as 300. Then the color is um, RGB color and I have my background color as the white. So let's create. Uh -huh. So the year would have to give it a gradient layout. I'm going to make a gradient layout for my background. Um, oh, sorry about that. I'm not using a color overlay. I'm using a gradient color. So after using a gradient color, I will, I will um, be using the orange color. So I'll be using the orange color and I'll be picking the first color, the gradient color there. I will have my style as radia and you can see this it is centralized and the sh brighter part is at the middle so uh, after i choose that i'll be bringing in my fabric texture to add some effects the kind of effects i wanted to be added to it so i would flip it horizontally and also resize it just to give me this uh, that's the way i want it to be so after choosing i've tweaked my blending options to to overlay to give it that kind of effect as you can see it's showing the effect already so um then i'll be bringing in my golden spring confetti just to add to give it the feel of yes it's a birthday so a spring cool one so then i'll be resizing it as well kind of making it bolder than ever than it was rather before so yeah i'll click ok the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be drawing a shape a rectangular shape and the aim of my shape is um i'm going to place my image on this so the main major aim of my of drawing this um rectangle is just to make this image look realistic on that on my design so i don't just want to place it on the background and i know i can place it but i felt i let me just give it this feeling that will make it look nice placing it on a play background and um, drawing the shape and the flow of the shape would make it look realistic so that's why i'm gonna add a shape to it and unique so it's gonna be placing it's gonna be separating my image it's gonna make it look this unique I'll be squeezing and kind of wrapping it so I think it's okay right now it's okay um, then I'll be adding my image to it I'll be adding my image so that's my image now let me put it at the front it's at the back so let me lay it at the front of the shape okay yeah now I'll, after this I would have to duplicate this if I would duplicate by dragging it down to add layer then you can use control you can use um, control G to duplicate your layer or you right click and you press duplicate so after that I would be given I've given it a color overlay a color overlay then I choose black for the cover of color overlay then I'll be out I would um, resize this to to fit like a shadow that's my aim i want to give it a shadow so i'll make it flat it's a flat surface on the it will be facing the ground so i'll, I'll eventually put it this way i think it's okay 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 i am it's it's okay this way for me for me so then the next thing i'll be doing is i would have to reduce the opacity to 15 after reducing the opacity to 15 i'll take my brush and um, clean up some parts there to make it feel like it's um, it's uh, it's real so it's a realistic stuff so i think i'm okay with the image now now the next thing i'll be doing is i'll go on to take my birthday image a mock-up which i've already done it's a mock-up so it's a golden mock-up uh, text 
3d text so i have i choose the font then i uh, already did this it's a good but for me i'm not satisfied with the good because it's not showing out it's not popping out the background is kind of too blending with this so i need to make it the same color as the dress so i'll be making it blue color a very deep blue color i'll be increasing my saturation to 200 just to give it that blue color that deep blue that royal blue do you understand and i'll reduce the light so the light will be giving me that deep blue also but i think it's not enough for me so i had to go down to my uh, to use my frequent uh, my emboss also i my beveled and emboss i try to give it that sweet effect now i think i'm satisfied with this so i'll be drawing a ship here uh, this shape is where uh, the name of the celebrant will be so I will choose the same color of the cloth for this So I'll be choosing the same color which is blue. I think I'm fine with that But I don't want I felt this box is just empty. So the I need to just um, Add an effect to it. So I choose to use the same text fabric and um, to it so um, I felt it's okay for me so I felt it okay for me using the fabric with it. Um, yeah, it felt it okay. So I'll be power clipping. Oh, sorry, I said power clipping. That's for users of Corel Draw. So for um, people using um, Photoshop, you clip. It you use a clipping mask. So after using my clipping mask, I blended it to. Um, I'm gonna blend it to to overlay as well so it's giving me this effect so i love it this way then my my the name will be written in white the name i'll be writing the name in white so then i'm placing it on 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 the on my ship on my rectangle shape so i'll be resizing i'll be fitting it there the way i want it to be so i think um okay yeah it's quite okay this way it's quite okay this way um, i think i'm fine with the way it is now okay yeah the next thing i'll be doing is to draw my circle shape where i'll be placing the dates the birth date of the celebrant so um i will be giving it the color blue as well i'll be giving it the color blue as well just to make it look good i'm giving it blue the same real blue um i'll be adjusting it to be in the front layer so uh, yeah right there okay and i would um, duplicate this like i told you you can duplicate with ctrl j or you drag it down to that or you right click on that um, layer then you duplicate so i'll reduce the opacity i would be reducing the bigger one i resized one to be bigger than the other so i'll be resizing this i think i'm not okay let me zoom in i think i need um i think i need to zoom in i'm not saying this well okay Alright, uh, um, yeah, I'm good with that. So I'll select my text too. Then, um, let's say we give it what date? Let's say 38. Let's give it 38. 38 of um, June. Let's give it 38 of June, yes. So we'll be changing the font. We're changing the font. So the same font I used for Lolabi Probella. So I would adjust and I can see the 30 is kind of coming out more than the it's exceeded the E. So I'll risk reduce the number size and click OK. Then I would have to drag it into the circle to fit into the circle and also resize it to fit into the circle. So um let's adjust this and resize it properly pro properly into the circle um so let's note what i've been doing since is just uh making use of the elements of graphics so the last thing i'll be doing is i'll be creating a light effect here i will select a new layer 
where the light effect will be placed so i'll be able to control the light effect on its own so i'll change the foreground color i'll be selecting a color from this background to give it that light effect so i'll be giving it at the right left side closer to the hand and the face so uh, that's it then um i'm gonna give it a blending option of of color of screen uh then increasing the size i'm increasing the size because um i actually want this to cover our face and our board part of our body as well from the top so so that is that for today please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel click that button click that button for more see you in the next tutorial goodbye